Tracy Turner with Sullivan Turner team here. Um, we are getting ready to share with you 837 Flowing Well Road uh, and welcome to our live relator. Um, this property is privately situated on 11 and a half acres. Um, you have a lovely four bedroom, two bath home, a little over 2,000 square feet. Lots of great upstairs to expand if needed. And um, Jen, who's behind the camera today, if you want to just kind of pan the front yard area, they can take a look and then we'll go inside and share with you this lovely new home, newer home. Uh, it was built in 2012, it has lovely uh, newer floors in it, great spacious um, foyer area, which you really could use you can even put a little office there. It's a great little sitting room to welcome your guests when they come in. And you've got your uh, coat closet here behind you. And then it opens right up to a nice dining area and your kitchen. And you've got plenty of cabinetry in this kitchen. Um, certainly lots of great storage. Of course, your um, oven and microwave and dishwasher, your double sink that looks out over a nice private backyard. And then Jen, if you wanna take a look and show everyone the laundry area, you've got your door that leads out to the backyard, washer dryer area, and there's plenty of space there to your right. Another laundry closet, and then room for a refrigerator and plenty of space there. So, when I come here to the living room, Jen, one of the things that we all love is how open this floor plan is. It's great for entertaining and gathering with your family. We've got a nice, spacious living room here with this wall of windows, so you can look out into the backyard. And um, we've got a wonderful gas fireplace, stacked stone, and then your built-ins over there to store all your treasures um, and family photos. Um, and Tracy is going to show you on the other end of the house, the owner's suite, and then we'll come back here and show you the guest rooms. So this is a split bedroom plan. Um, so you do have the owner's suite over on this end of the home. And then this area is your permanent stairs that goes up to the upstairs. And it's very expansive up there. It actually goes the whole length of the house from one end to the other. And then this opens up into this gracious Owner suite. You've got a nice tray ceiling. Um, certainly, plenty of room for a California king and all of your other larger um, furniture. You've got a nice sitting area over to your left. And Jen, while you're looking outside, if you kind of peek over there towards the towards the woods, um, those that area, if that's cleared, you can actually see down to the ponds across the across the street. So if you wanted a little bit of a, a peekaboo effect for um, a water view, you could do that, um, which is kind of neat. Um, and then to your left is the owner's bathroom. And you've got a dual vanities there, a nice soaking tub, lots of great cabinetry. And then to your right there is your soaking tub and uh, your stand-up shower and a nice walk-in closet. And then you actually have another um, linen closet here. So again, this house has great storage, um, even more storage here to the left of the, the vanity. So just take another look at how gracious um, this room is. And in that sitting area, you could make it your office area. Um, you could make it an exercise area. You can make it your own movie night location um, or just a nice cozy sitting area. And again, to our right is the stairs leading up to um, the space upstairs, which you could enlarge that has windows up there as well as um, it's already floored and our, our sellers are currently already using it for some great storage. And then you're back out to 
the dining area and kitchen, which is open to the family room. And Becky's going to share with you um, the bedrooms on the other side of the house. Welcome back to the living room. I have just been enjoying the hummingbirds out Aww. on the antenna while you all are at the other side of the house. So those windows come in handy here in the living room. Uh, down here, as Tracy mentioned, we have a split floor plan. So we've got three sort of evenly sized, generous guest bedrooms and a full bath. So Jen, if you wanna take a peek in at the bedrooms there. Um, again, good size room. You've got a nice window, a good standard size wardrobe. And then over here, we have another two guest rooms. Nice window looking out over that front field. And then your guest bath, which is a great deep linen closet, lots of storage. And then Jen, if you want to take just a quick peek, the third bedroom down here, our clients use as an office space. So again, three good sized bedrooms down on this end of the house and a full bath. Um, and we will take you outside to get a look at the backyard entertaining space. It's a great backyard, and as you can see, um, as you can't see, looking around the backyard and seeing all that wonderful privacy. Um, so the tree line there that you're looking at, that is approximately the back boundary line of our 11.53 acres. Um, there's plenty of room here for, goodness, if you wanted to put a pool or swing set or um, for your chickens, if you want to have your chickens, um, there's plenty of room there to do that as well. And lots of nice trees for shade um, on your hot summer days as well. So just, um, we are going to show you the front of the property, um, which has a little bit of space along the road frontage. So we'll go show that to you next. located at the front of the property um, and there's you know the the amazing view that I shared with you from the master bedroom um, that if you clear the trees and if you want to pan kind of down so we can show the pond views in the back you can take a little bit of a peek of, of the pond there and that is what you might be able to see from doing a little bit of clearing from that master bedroom window As we're standing down here, we have just around a thousand feet of road frontage here down at the front of the property. And what we're looking up at on this hillside, we think would just be the ideal spot to have your little hobby farm. You could look up there and see some goats out on the hillside grazing. Um, and again, if you had that a little bit of clearing done, you'd be able to look out your windows at the front of the house and see your animals down here enjoying the hillside and have that water in the background. So it would be really, I think, a very peaceful place. It would be a great ideal hobby farm. And there's there's also the ability, since there are not any restrictions on the property, that you could subdivide the property. So if you wanted to keep the privacy of the home up on the knoll and then subdivide a couple of properties down here along the frontage, you could do that as well. Um, so just nuts and bolts on the property. It is a four bedroom, two bath home, a little over 2,000 square feet with room to expand in the uh, second floor. Uh, sits on 11.53 acres and it's on the market for 417. Um, if you'd like to see the property, feel free to give our team a call at 803-998-0198. Thank you. Thank you.